Peter, how are you feeling one week from fight night? Like I'm going to be a world champion. Yeah. Um, how was the camp? How's the body? Yeah, not my best camp, not my worst camp. Usual ups and downs. Uh, feel good overall, though. Yeah. And obviously, it's a, it's a big night next week. It's Bellator's first uh, event in Dublin in two years. How excited are you to get back to the tree arena? Because you, you in particular are someone who just thrives off that arena. Yeah, it's, it's amazing. I can't wait. Um, I feel I'm, I'm one of a very select few fighters that experiences an atmosphere and enjoys support like this. Um, so I've, I feel very privileged and I can't wait to get back in there and experience that again. So it's a big deal for me. It's going to be a big deal for this fight. It's going to make this fight, you know, play into my hands more of an advantage for me again from the first fight. Yeah, because obviously the first fight was in the Mohegan Sun Arena. It was empty. It was very quiet. You could hear everything, even watch from home. And I can't even imagine what it was like for you guys. But I know uh, Patrick, he's spoke a bit on social media. He's looking forward to coming to Dublin. But do you think that might change when he gets there in the night and he's like, he walks in, he's like, whoa. <laughs> yeah, I think he thinks he's looking forward to it. And then he'll see when he gets in there and he... Oh, I think what people don't realise about this arena is that it's, it's built like a, like a hand fan that all the people are on one side. And even for me, when I walk down the ramp, it's, it's like this tidal wave of noise that, that hits you. You can almost feel it hitting you. Um, so he's never experienced anything like this. And it's all going to be booze when he walks down that ramp. So it's, it's at least when I walk down, it, I feel this noise and, and pressure, but it's all positive. So I can only imagine what it feels like when it's negative. Um, so it's going to be a big difference to our first fight. As you said, our first fight, it was... It was weird. You could you could hear, I could hear everything Big John was saying in the commentary box and everything. It was just so strange. It felt like a really intense spar or something. That's kind of the atmosphere it felt like. So this is going to be completely different. Um, yeah. I don't think he's ever fought on, in front of a, 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 a crowd like this, to be honest. Um, so it's going to be, it's going to be unique for him. Yeah, I was, like, I was actually at the Tree Arena on Friday night. I was at a concert and it was because they had to switch to all seating. It was set up the way it would be for next week. And I, I just kept thinking, Jordan, this is going to be electric next week. It's going to be amazing, especially after two years. Yeah. I think people, obviously, Bell Hopper on a great show there and you get the hardcore MMA fans, but you get a lot of casual, just fight fans. There's casual fans who love a night out and it's just an unbelievable experience, isn't it? Yeah, yeah it's going to be... I think this one's going to be even crazier because like you said there's just so much pent up demand now and people haven't had a night, a night out like this in two years um most people you know what i mean so it's going to be yeah it's just going to be it's going to be on par with that with, with all the all, all the other ones and possibly even better i think especially with me fighting for the title now and different things there's a few added bonuses to this one um so i think people are going to be really up for it it's going to be a crazy atmosphere and in terms of a tricky are, are you expecting anything different compared to the last fight um, I don't know. I've thought about this. It's it's hard to say. You know, he, he. It's very hard to say. I just don't know how he's going to approach this. I I think the fact that it's five rounds, I don't think anyone would disagree that this favors me now. Um, it's a longer fight, so you know you could see him try and start a little slower. He might be worried about his gas tank against me. I think this could happen. Um, so he might he might approach it at a slower pace than he did in the first one. Um, it's hard to know. He he kind of had success with takedowns in a way, but he didn't really have success because he got damaged in all all of his attempts as well. So it's hard to know if he'll follow that path either. Um, you know, it's it's just really difficult to know. I don't know what to expect from him. I I think he's just going to come in and try and take me out like he always does with everyone. Um, yeah. and I'm I'm ready for that, and I'll be doing the same thing to him. So I think it's going to be much of the same as we got the first time, which was a great fight. Because I think one of the most exciting things about you two is obviously it's a great matchup, but as you said, he's a fast starter, but you seem to grow into fights. And you can see in your fights, your cardio is off the charts because it wasn't just Patricky, it was against Ryan Scope, second round. Yeah. You just, you grow into it and you're just unbelievable. Like, you, you, even when your back's against the wall, you just seem to thrive off it and you take, you just go into a, a next gear. Do you think that's why you two clash really well? Because there's a certain point in the fight where two of you are almost on par and then it might swing in your direction. Yeah, like, you're right, he does. He's, um... He's, he starts a lot, like he's, his most dangerous period of the fight is the first five minutes. And he's very dangerous in that five minutes. But then he does, he has shown, shown that he slows down a little bit as the fight goes on. Whereas I don't, 
I kind of keep the same pace throughout the fight. I don't really slow down much. Um, that's what you saw in our first fight. He started very fast. He probably slightly had the better of the first round, I would say. I know one judge gave it to me, but I wouldn't be mad if they gave it to him either. Um, but then you saw in the second round, it started to even out a bit. And then I started taking over late in the second round. So, you know, the fact that it's five rounds definitely suits me. I can start even slower now this time. I, I'm in no rush. I don't mind giving up this first round. I know I've got 25 minutes with him. Um, so I'll be in no rush in there. I'm just going to take this nice and slow and drown him as the fight goes on. That's kind of my, my plan here. And I'm not breaking any news there. He's going to know that as well. And I'm sure he's worried about that. He's, he's got to be worried about his gas tank. Um, yeah. that's, that's the one chink in his armor. He's a brilliant fighter, but he has shown that he, that he slows down as the fight goes on. Has it affected you at all the build up because it's for a world title? Because there's already been talk. I, I seen after Belter 268, like with Brent Primus calling the fight a joke and kind of criticizing both of you for being the title fight. But that's going to obviously going to happen when people are in fights because people have want themselves to be in the title contention. But does that affect you? Because there's a title, there's just more attention around around the world. It's not just your Irish fans or his fans, it's everyone who's looking at this fight. Yeah, of course. It's, there's like there's more. There's always pressure. There's more pressure at this one, but there's I put so much pressure on myself for every fight. If I was fighting in a, my first fight, fighting in a in a warehouse in Tala, I I I, I was still under immense pressure because that's just the pressure I put myself on. Um, so the amount of pre pressure I put myself under, no matter what happens, I can't take on any more pressure. If, if you if that if you if that makes sense to you, um. So to be honest, it's kind of much of a muchness for me. I don't really listen to all that stuff. So he's, he's just saying things, trying to get his name in the picture. I understand that. Um, he's probably one of the guys in line for the winner of this fight. Um, so he's just trying to keep himself relevant there and keep, keep his name out there. So, you know, I'm around long enough. I know how this game works. I don't get too offended by what people say anymore. It's, it's just how it is. Yeah, and in terms of next week, it's obviously a busy week. It's always a busy week for you guys, especially when it's in Dublin. There's a lot of media to do, um, just the way and just the ceremonial way and then the, pub, the kind of public way. And um, will it be any different for you that next week? Because obviously, um, your your posters all over Dublin. I was at the trainer last week. Your face is all over there already. Um, to be like, a lot of young MMA fans, young fighters watching you potentially become a world champion. Does that add pressure? Or do you kind of like that people will be looking up to you as a role model potentially if you become, they already do obviously, but if you become world champion, you're that guy in Ireland. Yeah, it's, yeah, it is. It's, it's, it's crazy to think like it's, um, if I could, if I can get the job done here, I'll be, I'll be sharing this world champion status with a very special guy. Just, it'll be, just be me and Connor that have been, you know, major MMA world champions in Ireland, um, which is a great, you know, a great feather in my cap and it'll be a huge achievement for me. And of course that comes with pressure. But as I said, you know, it's just, I always have so much pressure. I'm just that guy. I, I, I demand perfection in everything I do. Um, so it, it, it's, it is pressure, but it's not pressure. If, if you get me, I'm just, yeah, I'm just really looking forward to getting this done now. It, it, it feels yeah. like, you know, the pressure always adds up as, as it gets closer to fight, but then you just want to get in there and do it and fight him. And I'm looking forward to fighting him. Yeah. Um, you know, he's, I know we've had our differences, but one thing I do respect about him is he's a fighter. He comes in to take you out. He tries to kill you. And it's, it's, and this is why I'm so excited about this. This is going to be wild. It's going to be a crazy, crazy fight. It's going to be crazy in there. Um, yeah. You know, so I'm just really excited for, for that. I'm excited to, I'm excited for the crowd and I'm excited for what they're going to see and just the spectacle this is going to be. Yeah. Um, just briefly to chat on, there's obviously, a couple of your teammates fighting on the night. James against Patchy was originally the main event, but obviously you've jumped up. That's an amazing fight, isn't it? We, we've waited for so long to see it. The two of them are back and forth even now on social media, very close to fight night. How excited are you for James? Oh, so excited. Even even when uh, James was with me for my, my first fight with Patricky and Patchy was on the card and we were in, he was in the, in the Mohegan Sun with me. And they were even, Jesus Christ, they were the bickering between the two of them in the hotel even all week. They were going at it again. I was like, just fight you two. I just want to see this now. Uh, it was so funny. Um, so, you know, that was just what I'm excited for as a fan. And he's my friend, of course. So it's double excitement. Um, but it's a great fight. Patchy's, a, I know we can say, James will say a lot of stuff about him, but he is a great fighter, Patchy. Um, but James is a brilliant fighter as well. So, you know, it's a really interesting contest. The two of them are really fantastic rappers. Um, so I think it's going to be very exciting and I think, you know, we're going to see a good one there too. I think James is probably a bit better than him in the, in the grappling. I think, I think this will be a grappling kind of a fight. I don't think 
you know, sometimes emotions can get get the better of you. Maybe Apache's planning to stand and things, but then you end up shooting. It's, you see this a lot in mm. fights. And if you shoot on James, he's got that guillotine and he's got that ground game. It's, it's, not a, it's never normally a wise plan to shoot on him. So I can, I can see James getting him. Yeah. And then, amazingly, a week after your world title fight, we've got Shinhei taking on Cyborg. We could have two Irish world title, or world champions in the space of a week, which is phenomenal. Just a word on Shinhei. Have you spoke to her uh, recently in the build-up to this? Yeah, I spoke to her. I speak to her every, every few days um, yeah. whenever I see her in the gym, but she's just so excited and she's really focusing on this one now. She's, she's kind of lighter than I've ever seen her. She's very fit. Um, she's just put a lot of work into this. Um, and this one, again, is like, it's a really hard fight for her. Let's, let's be honest. You know what I mean? It's, it's Cyborg. But if anyone can beat her, it's Sinead. Like, I really, truly believe that. And I think she will beat her as well. It's like, um, she's the only girl in that division that will be able to probably get the better of Cyborg standing. Um, I think if this ends up being a stand-up fight, Sinead's going to win. I just don't see don't see Cyborg beat her in that kind of a fight. Now, you, you'll probably see Cyborg switch gears and try and take her down and things, but Sinead will be ready for that as well. So that's a brilliant fight as well. I'm really excited for her. She's had a long road as well, and, and she's worked very hard. And it's nice to see her getting the recognition now and actually getting to step up and have a big fight like this against an icon like Cyborg. And it'll be the making of her if she wins it. Can you imagine if she wins it? Yeah. You know what I mean? It'll be, she'll be a household name in, yeah. in just the blink of an eye. So it's, it's yeah. great for her. And then finally, last question. I don't even know if it's a question, but 2021 Christmas, Peter Quigley, world champion. How does that sound? Oh, <laughs> just so nice. I just keep, I'm trying not to let myself get too, you know, you try, whenever I, I fight, I got good advice off someone before that you, when you're picturing the fight, you know, you want to picture yourself knocking the guy out and things going well. And, but you need to picture a bit of adversity as well and things going wrong too, because sometimes you can be too confident. And then when the fight's not maybe going perfectly, you start to get drowned by this then. And you start to, and I'm kind of having the same thing with this belt. I'm trying not to picture myself with this belt too much um, because it's such a big deal for me. And, you know, but I, I really think I can beat him. I really do. I think I will beat him. Um, oh, it'll be just amazing. It'll be just an amazing, amazing road for me. An amazing, you know, culmination to all the hard work I've done. And I think I deserve it. Super. Well, we hope you do. Peter, I'm sure I'll see you next week at some stage, but best of luck next weekend.